Welcome to this MOOC's course on blockchain. Continuing to our series of blockchain essentials, today we'll be seeing about the consensus mechanism algorithm. Consensus mechanism is a jaggeron which is used in blockchain and which is confusing a lot to lot many people. What is exactly consensus mechanism is? What do you mean by the word consensus? And what are different consensus mechanism algorithms? Today, in this lecture, we'll be focusing on two major consensus mechanism algorithm, that is proof of work and proof of stake. But before we focus on those two major algorithms, let us talk about what do we mean by consensus. Consensus means mutual agreement where both the parties agree with each other to do certain tasks. For example, before joining this course, if there are certain terms and condition, and I put those terms and condition on the website, and you agree with those terms and condition, and I accept those terms and conditions which you have agreed that I agree, and those terms and conditions come to me, and then we both mutually agree depending on those terms and condition and then only you can enroll to a particular course that is what the meaning is consensus mechanism now why consensus mechanism is so important in blockchain why it has become such an important word in terms of blockchain because we say that blockchain is a trusted network where different parties those who do not even know each other are interacting with each other in case of a public blockchain network as we have already seen they are anonymous parties those who are interacting with each other in case of supply chain we have seen it in a public blockchain network already so when different parties those who do not know each other and they want to have a trust so how can the trust be achieved one is by cryptographic algorithms which we have seen by sha256 algorithms other is by mutual agreement if we say yes when the parties will mutually agree then only the certain task would be done so there are different consensus mechanism algorithm which we'll be seeing today the basic concept of consensus mechanism is that yes the different parties agree with each other depending upon the platform we can have a ratio where we say that more than 50 percent of the parties if agree then only the certain work would be executed then only the block will join into the chain so let's proceed and let's see what is lying beneath these two different consensus mechanism algorithm which are talked a lot about proof of work and proof of stake so let's see it now so let's see the consensus mechanism this consensus mechanism is made a mechanism for mutual agreement. Why it is required, why it is important, as I've already told, it is needed because there are distributed nodes which are playing from different geographical locations and we do not know each other. So those nodes should have the same ledger. All nodes should have the same consistency of the same copy of the same data because wrong data should not be there therefore this consensus mechanism plays an important role in blockchain all nodes should have the same ledger it is a peer-to-peer -peer network different nodes are communicating with each other with the help of peer-to-peer -peer messages so when different nodes are communicating with each other with peer-to-peer -peer messages there may be a chance that a malicious nodes comes in between and the malicious node do the changes in the messages if this is the case, then mutual agreement will not be there. Therefore, consensus mechanism is very important because it is a peer-to-peer -peer distributed network. It is a trade-off between consistency, availability, and fault tolerance. There is no such thing that we can say that this consensus mechanism is better than that. It depends upon the platform we are using. There is always a trade-off between consistency, availability, and fault tolerance we have to choose depending upon these three trade-offs so let us start and focus with a consensus mechanism algorithm
Now, before we move forward and see different consensus mechanism algorithm, let us talk about the case which is known as Byzantine general problem. Byzantine general problem is a problem which is considered, you can say, as the base of any consensus mechanism algorithm that what gave rise to this consensus mechanism what was the problem of this byzantine general problem so let's see to this what is this byzantine general problem this is an image which has been taken from a website which is written over here let's see the name of the website it is medium.com okay so the image has been taken from that website that is medium.com what is explained in this image is concentrated on this. There is a empire in between, which is to be attacked by army. And the condition is that, that the army can capture this palace or this empire, this kingdom, only if they attack from all the sides at the same time. Now there are two generals, one is on the left, and one is on the right. Two generals are leading two different armies, but they have no means by which they can communicate with each other. They do not, they can't communicate with each other. The only means by which they can communicate with each other is, is by passing messages to their soldiers. And if they attack at the same time, at the same instance, on the same date, all of them coordinate with each other and they attack at the same time then only they can capture this palace otherwise they will not be able to capture this palace so they have to work on the coordination and messages have to be passed between them so if by any means someone in between become a traitor he does not pass the message to the other party or he passes a wrong message then they will lose the game then they will lose the fight therefore it is important that no one does the wrong messaging wrong passing and all pass the same message then only they can win the game similarly is the case of blockchain where there are different nodes and peer-to-peer -peer messages is being passed between each other and over there they even do not know each other and if there is a consensus mechanism in between if a mutual agreement is agreed between all then only we say that the system is secured therefore this problem of Byzantine general problem gives us a representation of why consensus mechanism is so much important if you see in the next figure over here that if these two are the traitors they will give the wrong message and they will not fight and then the army will lose it will not lead to a victory that would be an uncoordinated attack leading to the defect so for win the game there should be a coordinated attack between both the generals between both the generals so to proceed with let us now focus on two consensus mechanism algorithm which is the task for this video that is proof of work and proof of stay so let's proceed further now what is proof of work before we talk about proof of work proof of work is a consensus mechanism algorithm which was widely used by the emergence of bitcoin satoshi nakamoto made this bitcoin application the bitcoin platform the bitcoin cryptocurrency in 2008 which gave a new picture to blockchain consensus mechanisms existed before also but proof of work was the main consensus mechanism algorithm which was used in the bitcoin and which gave birth to many consensus mechanism algorithm so what is this proof of work actually is let us understand this thing very clearly now how does this consensus mechanism algorithm actually work we have already seen that in a blockchain uh, hashing is used SHA-256 which generates hashing addresses the data is hashed everything is hashed so we do not know what is the actual address the address is hashed and this hash value we have seen in the demonstration it depends upon the nonce it depends upon the nonce 
now for a block to join into the chain for a block to join into the chain the different participants of the blockchain can participate in making a decision in case of bitcoin we say that there are specialized partners those whose work is only to know only to calculate whether a block can join into the chain or it cannot join they are known as miners they are known as miners miners decide whether a block can join in the chain or whether a block cannot join in the chain now how do they decide we will see how do these miners decide whether a block can join or how it cannot join so let's see with proof of work algorithm now proof of work algorithm is used in bitcoin and another example of proof of work is litecoin these are two examples which we have shared now how does it work the miners have to decide whether a block can join into the chain or not now looking at this figure will give a much better picture that how does the miners basically work a block has been created there are different informations which are given into the block header the merkley root the time stamp the previous block hash the version and the nonce this header is given to a sha256 algorithm which computes the hashing which puts the hashing algorithm into the header and gives generates the hash value for that particular block we call it the target block now miners have to think of the nonce they do not think with their brains they compute the nonce with the help of the computing power we have already seen that how difficult it is to get the correct hash value so miners do not find out the exact hash of the block miners do not find out the exact hash of the block in turn they find out the hash which is less than the target block so let us see that how it is working the miner has to generate a hash which should be less than the target block hash it has not to compute the exact hash it has only to generate the hash which is less than the target block hash this figure which is in front of you is very important so giving a value which is less than the target block hash it means the number of leading zeros in the output therefore when we see it comes in the picture that how many leading zeros are there so number of leading zeros should be in such a way that the hash which is generated it, it is less than the target block hash if the case is not such then the miner recompute the nonce and again generate the hash for all this recomputation and computation of the hash remember that miner is not doing something on its own it is the system which is doing the thing it is the system which is doing the thing remember this thing miner has not to do the calculations it requires a huge amount of computation power this is the thing in proof of work to know the hash which is less than the target hash this is the goal of the miner if the miner is able to calculate the block hash which is less than the target hash he says that i have won it i have computed it and he transfer this message to the network all other miners checks it checking is very easy checking does not take the same amount of time and same amount of energy all others miners check yes whether he has computed it right and if they say yes the computation is right a consensus is being reached and then a block joins into the chain so over here the consensus comes into the picture when other miners check yes he has generated the right the correct hash if the correct hash is being generated others miners agree with it and the block joins into the chain this is what is how a proof of work works but what is the disadvantage in this to generate this hash it requires a huge amount of computing power it is said that the amount of energy electricity consumed in countries like iraq and iran is being consumed in mining for a node is being consumed in mining for a node for many blockchain platforms so it requires a huge amount of computing power because miners don't use their mind it is basically not a single miner remember there are different mining pools there are different mining companies